today we will be customizing a pair of Under Armour cleats using all Angelus Direct products. These cleats are for a softball player and she would like them to represent autism awareness. So we're going to do some really neat puzzle pieces on the inside and then we're going to do pink on the outside. So if you guys are interested in seeing how these cleats are going to turn out, then stay tuned. So first things first, we're going to take our leather prepare and deglazer and of course some cotton balls and we're going to go ahead and clean off the top layer of that leather so that we can, um, there's like a little pattern on the Under Armour shoes. I don't know if you could really tell, but as you can see, the pattern is smearing as we're cleaning them. So we're trying to just basically get most of that off as well as make the top layer of the leather tacky so that our paint will stick better. So now we're gonna take our Flat White by Angelus Direct and I already have mine in a different container. We're gonna take that and we're just gonna paint over our shoe so that we don't have to worry about our colors being pigmented over that um, where that black ink was or not ink but that black paint was smearing so instead of working on a gray surface we want to be able to work on a white a clean white surface so that's why we're gonna go ahead over it with the white paint now that our shoes are back to all white we're gonna mix up our pink and we're using Parisian pink and hot pink and we're gonna mix those two together to make a really pretty hot pink because the hot pink, in my opinion, is, is just really, really dull. So when we add that neon pink in there, it's just gonna give it a little bit of pop. But we didn't want it to pop too much, which is why we didn't use just the neon pink by itself. So we're gonna kinda dull it out just a little bit by using that hot pink and of course I'm gonna go ahead and label my container so that I know what this is later on and I'm just gonna label it 50 50 Parisian and hot pink and of course we're gonna shake 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 until it gets all mixed up And I'm pretty satisfied with the color we came out with. Actually, I guess I wasn't satisfied because I added a little bit more Parisian pink. Just making it a little bit brighter. There we go. So now we're going to take our pink and we're going to leave our Under Armour symbol on the front of the shoe. There was another one on the back, but we went ahead and we painted over that one because um, we, we're just going to keep one. And as you can tell, I did not tape off my shoes. That is because I just decided to be really, really careful while painting. If you're... Um, if you don't trust yourself to do this very carefully, then you definitely want to tape off wherever you don't want paint. I'm basically painting everything except for the bottom, the soles of the shoe, so I'm just gonna um, be very, very careful. So now that we have that paint, we're gonna go over the Under Armour symbol with our flat black. Just gonna be very, very careful. Like I said, we're not using any tape, so. The key to this is patience. If you don't have patience, you don't wanna be painting shoes because it takes a lot of patience. Now the next step is gonna be a little bit tricky. Because I am a tattoo artist, I had all the su supplies that I needed to do this and as well as the skill. So what I've done is I printed out a um, just a little bit uh, a print of puzzle pieces and I went over this with my stencil equipment so basically the carbon paper that I use to make stencils for tattoos is what I did this on 
and I just kind of placed that paper over the shoe and pressed just hard enough for that carbon stencil to show up on the shoe and then I went behind that because it was very very faint I went behind that with my pencil just to make it a little more visible and then that's how I got my puzzle pieces on my shoe I'm sure there are other ways to do that um maybe even freehand but for me this was the easiest thing to do so now I'm showing you guys the paints that I'm using for this custom and I've already showed them but they are red yellow pale blue and blue and of course black so we're gonna go ahead and get started with and we're gonna just start with one color and do one color at a time and we are painting our puzzle pieces at random in no particular order but you want to avoid um actually making a pattern you want them to be kind of sporadic so we're gonna go in first and paint our yellow puzzle pieces one by one then we're just gonna go on to our pale blue Again, these are in no particular order. You actually want them to be kind of mixed up and all over the place. So now we're going in with our blue. And finally, our red puzzle pieces. Once you get one coat down, this is about what it's gonna look like. It's pretty blotchy, um, so you're definitely going to have to do at least one more coat over the puzzle pieces. As you can see, I left the edges blank. That's because I'm going to go back and paint the edges black at the end. After everything else is done, I'm going to make the edges black just so it gives it a nice and clean and sharp look. So we're going over our puzzle pieces a second time just to make them just really dark and opaque. And um, to take some of that blotchiness out because we don't want that. We want them to look pretty solid. Guys, I have this video time lapsed, but um, this actually took hours to do. So just because this video is a few minutes long, don't let it fool you. It took um, probably about a week for me to do these shoes all together. Of course with breaks, not a week straight, but you know. This is how it came out. I think it looks pretty good. If you feel the need to have to go over anything again, feel free. Um, there's been times I've had to go over things like five times. It's okay, it happens. Just as long as it just looks really opaque and just sharp and clean and nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below in the comments. Or if you have any requests for videos that you would like to see me make in the future. Or just uh, an idea for a custom that you'd like to see me do. Um, all the little products that I use in this video will be linked in the description box below as well as a link to purchase all of these products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!